Hey, Hoy is in the UK. It's day three. We just had a very lovely morning meeting with an no. alumnus of McCourt, Patrick Spencer, who's running for the Conservative MP ship in West Ham. And uh, now we are in Westminster Palace. But before that... Before that, we met with a presenter and journalist from the BBC who gave us the electoral perspective from the press. Um, I think he's sort of as excited as everyone for Friday's results. We don't know if we're going to have a Conservative government come Friday, a hung parliament, or something in between. Um, but right now, we are sitting on an actual bench from parliament, um, which is pretty snazzy. I want to have a career in politics, and I think you've got to... If one of the ways I think if you want to have a successful career, you've got to take every opportunity as it comes. Mm -hmm. And so for my career, I thought that was an important thing to do. I got offered the opportunity. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun at the same time. And if I do want to do this in the long term, um, you can't go around saying, well, I don't want to do that. So, no. And it was a fascinating discussion. He's an, a conservative candidate for parliament. And we talked about his take on some of the hottest political issues in this election. Uh, and he actually gave us a defense of Brexit, which was uh, quite the discussion. I, in, an, in an election, is, is always heated. And there are people who will get terribly steamed up about your choice of adjective. 77% 70 of, I think it's 18 to 24 year olds in Britain, consult the BBC News website. Uh, and that's power. I mean, that's real power and trust right there and you have to make bloody sure that it's not abused mm. you've got to make sure you're getting stuff right you've got to think very carefully about what you're doing and it was really interesting to hear his take on sort of the importance of fact-checking and trustworthiness in the news today in fact it's become even more imperative in this election than perhaps in elections past it was especially interesting to hear just how many young people really trust the BBC as their main source of news, which we don't really have a comparable version for here in the United States. 